Hey YouTube, Tom itself here. Let's talk a little bit about Battlefield 4 and the new DMR classification of weapons. Now, these aren't new to Battlefield. They were in Battlefield 3 simply as recon weapons, but I think I should talk about where they fit into the grand scheme of things. You've got your PDWs that the engineer has now that are good for close range combat, tight hip spread, high damage up close. You've got the assault classes assault rifles, which are good all around weapons, particularly capable of being good at pretty much medium to longer ranges, really versatile, good all-around weapons. Then, of course, you've got your sniper rifles that the uh, recon class has. There are precision weapons, and now they're all uh, slow-firing bolt actions. All the semi-autos are the DMRs, I'm going to talk about in a minute. Of course, you have the engineer's LMG, which uh, fantastic once you bipotted it up, but uh, a little sketchy if you're not doing that. <laughs> kind of a unique thing, but hey, it's fun. For all kits, you've got obviously the shotguns, which are close range weapons, and then you've got the carbines, which are very similar to the assault rifles, but they sacrifice a little bit of accuracy, especially some ADS accuracy and some damage at range uh, for a little bit better hip fire. And they're also all kit weapons. I don't know why you would take a carbine over an assault rifle unless you really wanted to be able to hit fire, but hey, the, they're available for the other three classes. So where does that leave the DMRs? One would assume the semi-automatic designated marksman rifles would be dominant in ranges somewhat past the assault rifles and carbines definitely, but uh, short of where you'd really want to use a long-range sniper rifle. And I'm just not finding that to be the case. In Battlefield 3, weapons like the M39 EMR, the MK11, my personal favorite, the SKS, but also the M417 were great from, say, 50 to 150 meters, but really there's a, there's a real sweet zone in there, between maybe 70 and 100, were just almost dominant weapons. I'm not finding it in Battlefield 4, at least not without a lot of work. I'll link to SimThick.com in the description if you're not familiar with the site. They have all the stats for all of the guns. Phenomenal if you really want to dig into the numbers and try and figure out how things work and why one thing is better in what regard to another. Really awesome. But in general, most of the DMRs in Battlefield 4 got pretty much the same treatment that the SKS did near the end of Battlefield 3. Uh, so you things like reduced damage. Instead of being two or three hit kills, most of them are three or four hit kills. Uh, reduced ADS accuracy. Uh, get to that in a minute. More recoil, more sway, and I feel like you really need some more unlocks, especially that heavy barrel. Uh, some, of, some of these really do not work terribly well as marksman rifles without the heavy barrel. And uh, something might be going on with the headshot multipliers. I'd seen a lot of posts about that, but I did not see the numbers. Anyway, let's dig into this a little bit more. The biggest thing I notice is the lack of ADS accuracy. Even on the first shot, and obviously as you spam the weapon and you fire faster, you get more spread, but even that first shot isn't accurate enough normally. Uh, so you have spreads anywhere from 0 0.05 degrees to 0 0.1 degrees, and that would leave you at 100 meters with a spread of a radius of, what was that, about uh, 9 centimeters out to 17 centimeters. And so going for headshots at 100 meters, even that first shot, not guaranteed to hit even if you line it up perfectly. That's why I feel like I really want to be using that bipod. If I'm not though, the heavy barrel is pretty useful, but I need to be careful not to be strafing while I'm trying to take long range accurate shots. That really, really hurts the accuracy. So you've got the scope swaying around as you're trying to line up this shot, and then you've got some additional inaccuracy when you do pull the trigger, and you, good luck getting that first shot to hit. And compared to Battlefield 3, you might want to wait a little longer between shots to let things settle. There's some additional recoil on most of the guns. But normally I'd be like, alright, I can deal with that. I've got my friend the Flash Hider, and it'll keep the sniper from figuring out where I am for, you know, a couple tenths of a second longer, and I'll be able to get shots to and three off and it'll go a little bit better but the flash hider is a battle pack unlock so uh, good luck <laughs> i have over 300 kills with my sks and still no flash hider for it uh, i'm getting kind of tired of that right now i feel like the best thing the dmrs are for are getting assists either kill assists or suppression assists so what i've gone to is using them to suppress people get them to take cover and then finding other ways to finish them off be it the mortar the xm25 grenades the m320 uh, a rocket launcher, just pretty much anything else I can find because I'm having a really hard time closing the deal with the DMRs. 
And if I really wanted to just slowly peck away at someone, again, the additional recoil, I have to slow down the rate of fire compared to Battlefield 3 and, you know, landing four shots, the guy would have to be pretty clueless to sit there and be like, ah, no, it's, it's okay, he's not going to keep hitting me. Now, they'll figure it out and get out of the way before you can get the additional follow-up shots on target. I mean, that is if they don't just turn and kill you. Long-range snipers are still a threat, and at closer ranges, assault rifles, carbines, and even the PDWs are still a threat. You can't spam the trigger that fast against automatic weapon fire. I don't really have a problem that they removed the two-hit kill range from a lot of these weapons. Uh, that puts them in more of a niche role, and so you really need to be careful where you're using them. That's okay, but the fact that they're so bad at the range where I would expect them to be good, that really nice 70 to 100 meter range, and they're just, they're not getting the job done there because there's so much sway, there's so much random spread, and because it still takes four shots to kill and not three at that range. So I don't know, it's getting really annoying, and I really don't see a strong role for any of the DMRs. I mean, we are talking about ranges where you do have to worry about bullet drop and leading your target. If idle sway and random spread mean that trying to take those into account are less important than just the random factors of the weapon, suddenly they're really not marksman rifles, are they? I'll probably keep running DMRs just because I enjoy them, but on a practical level, I'll probably be better off going with a carbine every time if I want something like that for, say, my engineer class or my support class. So, yeah, anyway, that's how it stacks up. Uh, probably 500 plus kills with DMRs, I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, probably not really recommend those anymore. <laughs> Sorry guys, we'll see what dice changes. I imagine they will improve them at least a little bit, uh, but we'll just see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.